hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i know i've wasted time please you people should not blame me i know i have wasted time to post this video but this one this one not die this one not trouble wahala everything you want yawa hey this one you only forgive me a b so hi guys how are you doing if you are a new viewer make sure you like comment and subscribe and press the notification bell in case i post any video i know i'm very late and i'm so sorry but as you saw on the title today is a story time it's a hush puppy i'm sorry it's not mine but it's from a ma a mommy that shared it to me and then i will insert the clip somewhere inside there so that you should see that i am not faking the story i am not inventing the story it's actually someone's story and it's not a nigerian movie as people put in there's everybody who's lying so yeah so before we get into it please if you have any weave or any wig you want to customize let it be the changing of color or frontal or whatsoever contact fix it wig is owned by my good friend pearl camel i'll leave the instagram just here and in the description box and in case you want any four locks wig she is based in accra ghana so you just dm her and then you people should change the color of your wigs i beg stop putting black black wigs every day at least put color on your head abby so i'll leave the name just here and in the description box so now let's get into our video so now guys uh, is actually a hush puppy like a story time about this ma who we'll call her who we'll call her mama nigeria because mm -hmm. she's from nigeria and then she contacted me in fact let me just read the story <clears throat> hello dear how are you hey, hey, i'm fine mommy i saw your post in blah 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 in the wechat group let's say like this and i would like to share my story and if people out there can learn from this i will be grateful so listen and listen very good because this is a true story so i will just summarize the first part so that you guys should understand so <clears throat> Mama Nigeria is telling us that she was in a very, very toxic relationship and that was her first relationship. I don't know why most of our first relationship, okay, not our, but most of people's first relationship are always toxic. Anyways, Mama Nigeria said that she was in a very toxic relationship. That the toxicity of that relationship was really harmful to her health. The boy was cheating, spending her money, and then like her father was a farmer her father was a farmer and then they were living in the village but the father managed to send her to school and that's what the boy will be spending or uh, uh, and be spending her money on other girls he'll be beating her he'll be raping her type of thing she even lost the virginity to the boy anyways that's how toxic her relationship was with the guy and then but she because of love when you are love you're in blind uh, mama me when you're in love you are blind type of thing so that's the beginning of the story that's how toxic her relationship was so now <clears throat> she said i had three abortions for him the first one i went to a native doctor who asked me to sleep with him because i couldn't pay for the abortion when i told my boyfriend about it he beat me mercilessly until I found myself in the hospital. That was her first abortion. Just see how bad it was. Just see how some men are wicked. Very wicked. But anyway, let me continue. So after aborting your child, you will still beat me on top. I mean, shock, mama. But I loved him so much that I couldn't leave him. Not even two months later, I fell pregnant again. And this time, he took me to a woman in Lagos who made me drink some poisonous herbs. 
that could nearly kill me. I fell in, huh? I fell sick until my parents took me back to the village. I stayed there for a year. He never looked for me, nor even tried to know what finally happened to me. So after being in the like after the boy is not wasn't even treating her right, he still made her abort twice because she said she had three abortions and I read two. The first one, I be mama went and slept with native doctor to remove Pekin because she didn't have money. And then the boy still beat the mama. Okay, she wasn't yet the mama at that time, but you can see no i hope you feel me just feel that pain when you finish a but you feel it like she was just doing stupid thing out of love that's what mama is trying to explain to us and then second abortion mr man will take her to some native doctors where woman to a woman who made her drink you know in africa abortion cry abortion is like everybody everybody wants to remove the baby through their own means you get it because like um hospital bills and stuff are very very expensive and i know many girls out here have done so certain kind of abortions that like they can't even give birth later on because with all what she has taken let's say what she has done with the medical the native doctor we don't even know what the native doctor has given her to take her so that she should abort and the woman too anyways let's for sure our story so she went back to the village and then what happened hey she went back to the village for a year so she has even stopped school oh she had even stopped school because she wasn't going to school because of the boy you eat my money how will i go to school you are just troubling me how will i focus in school nothing like that so after one year she went back to port harcourt but she didn't go to school because of lack of means no so she went, she started working as a house help in Port Harcourt there. So one day I met this guy on my way to buy credit and he barely recognized me. After my long explanation to make him know my identity, he hurt me and started crying, say how people told him I was dead and stuff. Man, you people are wicked. You people are wicked. How can you pretend? How can you pretend? Then like that how can you pretend as if you don't even know the woman anyways so he promised never to leave me again and he was never he has never given up on loving me i was the mother of his unborn babies whatever whatever i fell for him again and fell pregnant again but this one, I was ready to keep it because I had a small salary and I really thought, huh? And I really thought me, huh? Mommy. <laughs> and I really thought this guy could make it ahead. I really thought this guy could make it. But when I told him I'm pregnant, I discovered he had another girlfriend who was pregnant too and that he was taking care of with my money. Your mother. Hey! You have suffered. Hey! People's stories. He was taking care of another girl he has impregnated. He used Mama Nigeria's money to take care of a girl that he impregnated. And he wanted Mama Nigeria to abort the. Hey! Man! My dear, this time, I said it to myself that I was a big fool. Mommy, I felt humiliated. I tried to kill myself several times. Overdose, vein cuts, even wanted to drop, uh, jump across the bridge. Ash! Because it's really traumatizing. It's really traumatizing what this mama went through. It's really traumatizing what she went through during her youth days. But anyway, let me summarize the end. She was like, there was this woman who helped her. The woman, where was the woman even coming from? But that is when a woman that I know very well told me that, can't you see God is still keeping you alive after all these attempts of killing you? 
and it was true that's when she asked the woman actually opened her eyes and told her that you have tried so much to kill yourself but god has always been there protecting you so that you shouldn't delete your life because there was a, a purpose for you Ish. there was a <laughs> there was a purpose for you on on earth long things cut short I found a man that valued me and created a business for me. Today, I, I am in China to learn Chinese because I want to deal with Chinese factories and I want to master their la language. God forgave me and blessed me with four adorable kids. So upon that, God even gave her children again. I am not inventing the story. I am not lying. They sent the story to me. They sent the story to me. So it's a true story. Please, sisters, when you are in love, eh, no matter the degree of love, love with your heads. Hold your hearts. That's always what my mother told me. I should hold my heart. Because when this heart is touched, you can't do anything again. God had mercy on her, on Mama Nigeria. God had mercy on her. I still gave her kids. I still protected her all along. Some people, first abortion, you would have died. Long time, native doctor. Imagine it was snake he was putting inside. Or second abortion, during the poison, blah, blah, blah. People would have been dead long time if they were the same thing. So please, like measure your degree of love. I know it's something that you can't, but like always pray for the person you are even dating. Like, even this simple, simple, uni, college, high school, primary, kindergarten, dating you people want to date. Pray for your dates. Pray for your partner. Because a toxic relationship, you people, trust me, a toxic relationship can make you come out the worst version of yourself. The worst version of yourself. I said on this channel, me, I won't be talking too much about this relationship things. Because, eh. Uh, I've washed my hands <laughs> but but that was mama nigeria's story i tried to share with you and i hope that this story actually shows you certain things aren't good like whatever happens in life like just pray about it and you will survive Nobody sent her, but it was her lesson and it made her grow. We are not judging. We are just taking lessons from all the stories that have been sent to us, okay? So, thank you for watching. Hope you guys send me your story for another Hush Puppy or Push Puppy. You people haven't even given me the name I have to write for this kind of thing. But it's a certain kind of story time that I narrate. Don't always feel comfortable for to send your stories so that we should share it to the other people who want to hear about it and have lessons about it okay because you shouldn't be ashamed of your past this ma who shared her story with us she wasn't ashamed of her past because she knows that in narrating this thing it can help many people so please trust us we will not reveal your identity and we'll just like share the story okay thanks for viewing make sure i see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe like and comment okay